Well, we'll uh, dive in, I guess, with uh, the annou announcing of uh, signing of Jameer Harris and Isaiah Washington. Uh, extremely excited about signing those two guys. We had always um, said if we want to get to where we need to get to, it's going to have to be multiple recruiting classes and um, multiple good recruiting classes. And we feel like with this one, we've gotten there. Um, you know, we obviously love our incoming freshmen. Um, you know, with, with uh, Jameer, I think he's one of the best shooters in the country. Um, there's, it's hard to find a lot that are better than him. Um, you know, he's got a little bit of uh, Malik Smith in the sense of, you know, he'll pull from anywhere. Um, you know, he's got a little bit of Andre Hollins in the, in the sense of he's an undersized kind of two guard. Uh, comes from a phenomenal family. Parents are terrific. Um, just brought him up the right way. Uh, he's a student athlete. You know, he looked at a lot of Ivy League schools, and, uh, you know, it means a lot to him to kind of get uh, that student athlete experience. So he'll be a great representative of our basketball program. I mean, we want to improve our shooting. He certainly does that as well as plays hard, is tough, plays at a great high school, gets coached, plays for a great AAU program. So uh, really excited about him. Uh, Isaiah Washington, he, he was a point guard that we set out to sign um, for a couple years, and we got the one we wanted. Uh, I, I think he's one of the best point guards in the country. Um, and, you know, he comes out of uh, New York City, where it's obviously uh, basketball is extremely important over there. Um, he loves the game. It's rare that you don't talk to him and say, hey, what'd you do today? And he's not playing any game somewhere. Um, you know, so. I expect them both to make a great impact. Uh, you know, Isaiah, uh, that was an important get for us. We've always, uh, we set out for a long time, worked very hard uh, to get him. And, and his mom, Sarai, is great, so supportive. And his high school coach and, and all the people around have been awesome. So those are two really good gets for us. And uh, we're very, very excited. Um, Lafayette, and then obviously open to questions. Lafayette, I was in the Sun Belt, so I know that's a really good program. Um, you know, that's a program that's been in the postseason the last three years. They've had two pros and Alfred Payton. When I was there, we played against them. They had Alfred Payton and Sean Long, two NBA players. Um, so they're always going to have really good talent. Coach Marlin is a veteran coach, been a coach for 18 years. I got a lot of respect for him. So they're going to play hard. Uh, they're going to be extremely talented. So it's a tough game for us to start. Uh, we need to be ready. Um, well, you know, we, we try not to pay too much attention to rankings. I mean, I think in, in our mind, he was, he was kind of the point guard that we really, really looked at to get, um, dynamic with the ball, uh, phenomenal passer, really good competitor, uh, very good scorer. I think, you know, you saw a couple games on, um, TV where he showed that, you know, really good, just quick speed end to end, um, you know, and loves the game, loves the game. And that's what I love more than anything about him. He's a great kid. Um, and, you know, he's uh, – he, he, we, we need him to come in and, and certainly make an impact. So it was very important to get him. When you look at um, just the fact that it seems like here you've been able to get a lot of uh, good, pretty good guards, and but this is the kind of first guy that was uh, maybe a point guard that could come in right away and, and you know, don't feel – feel comfortable kind of you know, maybe handing him the, the ball and saying, hey, you can, you can kind of run our team. Uh, you know, you brought in, like, DeAndre Matthew was a junior college player. You inherited Andre Hans. I mean, some experienced guards. And Nate Mason kind of grew into that role. But it's kind of he's a first freshman that you might want to maybe give a lot more responsibility. To well, I, th I think that it's always ideal. Uh, I mean, I think he's going to play a lot. But it's also nice that you got Nate's a senior. You'll have Dupree's a junior. You've got Amir. Um, he'll play a lot this year, so he'll have a lot of experience. Uh, you know, so it's 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 great that he can learn as well as play. Um, you know, so he'll get some really really good um, advice, really good uh, tutelage from Nate. You know, just like Nate, I think got from DeAndre, Andre, those guys. Did Nate play with DeAndre? I don't even know. Did he? Yes, he did. Um, you know, so that's always really ideal to me. Like Jordan Murphy got it from Joey King. Um, you know, so I think that that's really important. Uh, as far as Jameer and uh, his experience.
parents playing with the pre and the relationship there? Yeah, I mean, they both went to the same high school. It's a really good high school. Um, th their high school coach does a tremendous job. Um, they've always got a lot of really good players. Uh, you know, so for Jameer, what I like is is he's been a good player versus good opponents, you know, and, and he's going day-to-day -day against guys, a lot of Division One players, um, you know, and, and, and he's, uh, he's made big shots and big games on the AU circuit. In high school game, you know, in high school games, um, you know, so he's and he works his butt off. Uh, he really works hard, and uh, he's got substance as a person, and uh, he's just he's always smiling. He's always saying thank you. Um, he's extremely appreciative, um, and and you know, it's going to be hard to outwork him. Do you foresee a day down the road when those two might pair well together on the court with Jameer being a great shooter and Isaiah being Casper's guard? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, I, that's that's anytime you bring – you never want to bring in the same player in a class. You know, you want guys who can complement each other and grow. Um, you know, and I think uh, with those two guys, I could see it. Um, you know, and, and I think they both – I think they go, both got really good potential. I think we got two really good ones there. Looking at tomorrow, you mentioned knowing the conference well. What, what does Louisiana Lafayette do well right now? And, and in looking at their team, what do you see from their team? Well, it's always difficult early. Um, from a scouting standpoint because, you know, they had an NBA player. Sean Long is in the NBA and so much centered around him, as it should. I, I think he was player of the year in the conference. Um, you know, now they've got three returners back, uh, each average nine a game. they got some newcomers who are a little bit unknown. Um, you know, they played one exhibition game uh, versus West Florida. West Florida played every possession zone, so that's always difficult. Um, you know, so I know they're going to play really hard. Uh, I know they're going to be athletic. I know they're going to be well coached. Um, you know, Coach Marlin, I've got a lot of respect for, um, and they'll always have really good talent. You open at home, first six games are at home. I think 12 of the first 14 are at home. With some young guys and with a new team, is that something you think you could, that can benefit you, or how do you look at the home heavy first part of the schedule? Well, I think we did it, um, you know, with, with our fans in mind. I wanted to start a home and home, uh, so that was with Arkansas. And so, you know, you get a marquee opponent with Arkansas. Then you get St. John's in here, another really good name, a uh, good game for our fans. So you then had to look at, okay, you're going to go out Florida State. You got Vanderbilt. Uh, those are some tough games. UT Arlington is obviously really good. Lafayette's really good. So you got to balance out your schedule. Uh, so I think the home games, more than anything, just we don't want to play too many road games next year. Um, you know, so you just try to balance it out. And starting a home and home with – uh, Arkansas changed a little bit of the di that dynamic. What's the identity this team got to be this year? Well, I hope it's it's that they play hard. They play with great confidence. Uh, they play with great enthusiasm. Um, you know, I think it, it, our biggest thing is is you know just just do it for each other, uh, celebrate each other's success, uh, stay confident as much as you can, and, and just compete your butt offs. Normally, good teams' identities. Normally, our defense, rebounding, play hard, toughness. Um, you know, so hopefully when you talk about our team, it would be that. Did their confidence take a beating last year? Did they regroup from that? What would you say they're at that? Yeah, they've gotten beaten up. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but that's what happens when you don't win. I mean, that's sports. Um, and so it's been important for us to talk to the team about move on. Last year's got nothing to do with this year. Uh, we got five new faces. We had a young team last year. Hopefully we learned from it. You know, anytime you lose, you, you, could, take it both, you could take it one way or the other. For us, take it as, as a learning experience. You know, and, and I think they have. And, you know, hopefully the returners are extremely confident as well as the new recruits, Reggie and Akeem, can instill some confidence as well. And it'll be a much more complete team, so we'll have that. You know, I I think there's seven, eight potential starters. So I just think it it absolutely, yeah. He'll he'll play a lot uh, at whatever role it may be. I mean, he's he's a really good leader. I, did you announce captains? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, he'll be one of the captains. Um, you know, so he's come in. Akeem and uh, Jordan and Nate have come in, or Akeem has come in and made his imprint from a leadership standpoint. Uh, you know, and he he plays hard. He he knows how to win. So yeah, he's gonna be a major factor. You mentioned talking to the team about last year. Did you feel like at the beginning of camp you wanted to just address it, talk about it, and then not talk about it again? Or how did you uh, last year? Well, what I did was um, 
whenever that was, the beginning of school, because Akeem wasn't here during the summer. Uh, Reggie hadn't practiced. Um, so we didn't have a complete team just yet. Well, we got together, and I, I did two different meetings, uh, the returners and the new guys. And I told, told the returners who sat in my office, and I said, last year, as hard as it was, that is a learning experience. Sometimes you learn more from losing than you do from winning. And I learned a lot. Staff learned a lot. Players learned a lot. And just take it like you young guys were in meaningful games in the Big Ten. As hard as that may be, it's good for you. Uh, grow from it. Learn from it. Never want to go back there again, obviously. Um, and then we talked about the uh, – we brought the newcomers in and said, where are you going to put your imprint on this team? Because we've got five. We had six at the time with Devontae that we feel will all play right away. Well, how are you going to do that? And where are you going to change certain things that we may have been missing last year? And then we said, we're moving on. It's got nothing to do with this year. And it's uh, we've, we've closed the, the book on that. And uh, fired up for this year. Book's been closed, Chris. We closed it, burnt it, threw it away, got rid of it. How would you uh, grade Amir Coffey's development so far since he's arrived? <sighs> pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's it's, but it all changes tomorrow, right? From the lights go on. Um, but but you know, he's he's as good as advertised, in my opinion. Um, obviously, a terrific passer. We we I think we all knew that. Um, a really good competitor. Uh, I mean, I think he's one of the better freshmen in the league, in my opinion. So, you know, obviously it all changes tomorrow. Uh, but I think when those lights come on, he'll be ready. I told Nate, I don't know why you're not, and not that you're disrespected, but in my opinion, you should believe you're one of the best point guards in the conference. I mean, you, you are a junior. You're experienced. Um, you know, you were playing really well at the end of last year. You went at Michigan at 20-something points. I remember playing really, really good. Uh, so, so step on that court with the belief. Obviously, be humble. But be extremely confident that you're one of the better point guards in there because not only are you a good player, you got that experience. Um, Jordan Murphy, I, I think, is one of the better forwards in the conference. Uh, I think he's a matchup issue. I think he produces. Um, you know, obviously, with all the double-doubles he had last year, he was an all-freshman player. Um, so I think those two guys, two of the better players out there, um, and I think the other guys will complement them really well. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he, what, today's Thursday. He came back yesterday, full full contact. Uh, did not contact on um, Tuesday, but he looked good yesterday. And you still expect him to play tomorrow? Hundred percent. Team voted on it. You name them. What's the Team voted on it. Yeah, and then. Uh, I looked at him and named him. And I basically told the guys, I said, listen, I've been around teams where the captains have been really good and they've really, really taken ownership of it and it's been important to them. Um, and normally those teams are good. Uh, I've been around teams where it hasn't been good. And normally those teams aren't good. So, you know, if we can get some leadership and, can, and we can all be connected as a coaching staff and those captains at the top, we're probably going to be a good team. Um, and I th I'm excited with, with those three guys. I think they all bring different type. You know, I think Akeem is your rah-rah, loud, uh, you know, kind of the, the, the voice in the locker room in a good way. And I think that Nate's kind of got that quiet confidence, and I think Murph's kind of the same way. So I think all three guys really balance each other out well. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's unfair to expect him to be 100% right now. Um, surgery in February, didn't play this, this summer. Uh, you know, he has missed a lot of time. We're all in a rush. Everybody's in a rush all the time. We, we, uh, coaches fall for it too. So I've been telling them, just be patient. Um, it'll come. You know, we know you got the talent. But little things like foul trouble, little things like turnovers, not knowing where you may be supposed to be, that's natural. Um, you know, so it may take him a little bit longer, um, but I think when he's on that court, just his size alone, his ability to catch, it changes the game. And we saw the rotation with, um, obviously, Eric playing a lot of five. Didn't see too much of Bakari and Gas. Um, was that just, I mean, Eric is that good where, I mean, he can, he's versatile with playing at the five? I think he's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we, we, we tend to talk a lot about uh, the local kids and Michael and Amir just because that's normal. 
Um, but I think Eric's a darn good player. He was probably the best player on the court the other day uh, during that exhibition game. So he, he's going to play a lot of minutes. How have you changed as a coach over the last couple of years, what you've learned about the Big Ten, about the culture of Minnesota? You're always growing. Um, you know, you, you hope that you're always getting better. Um, you're striving to be better as a coach. I mean, obviously, this is year four for me. Um, you know, when you first come in, you've only coached one year, and, you know, you go to the Big Ten, uh, you know, you're going to have to grow and evolve. I think I've done that. Um, hopefully I'm better today than I was last year, and just you continue to get better. I think the good coaches out there, and uh, they're always trying to get better. You know, you go to those clinics, and I see it all the time. You know, it's like um, Akeem, Dupree. So now you've got to put all the pieces together. So that's where where he plays matters. I don't – you know, I'm going to constantly look – at putting him in a position to put the defense in a bind because I think he's a really talented player. Um, and that, you know, ideally he's not going to play the four. Uh, if we're in foul trouble or something's going wrong if he's playing the four. But the one, two, or the three to me, not a whole lot of difference. Thank you.